Oh, shalom again. Welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a subject in the book of Revelations. It's called the seven, the seven bowls or the seven vials of Revelation. Um, a lot of people are, think that Revelations is probably the most complicated uh, book in the Bible, which is not totally, it's not the most complicated. I mean, people see, you know, some people see things into the Bible that it's not really there, and other people that they over-exaggerate and stretch certain verses, words, whatever, you know. So I'm just going to discuss this, this with you, and uh, I'd like you to look up these passages for yourself in your own Bible. So here we go. Here we go. The first Bible states, Grievous sores upon those who worship the beast. And we discussed that in uh, my, you know, my other programs. And you can find that in Revelations uh, 16 too. These going to be sores on on people like boils, you know. I don't know lesions. Um, second bowl: the seas become as blood, and all sea creatures die. Revelation 16:3. All the creatures going to die. All the sea creatures are going to die from this. But um, it's it is kind of sad to hear all this. But just you got to just remember, in the end, there's good news at the end. The gospel, there's good news at the end. The third bowl unleashed, all rivers become as blood. That's uh, sixteen four. It's going to be, you know, blood. You know, it's not. It's blood from animals. It could be some kind of like red fungi. It could be a lot of things, you know, because it just says red blood. So, you know, we got to assume it's going to be blood. Now the fourth bowl, the fourth bowl, the sun's heat scorches mankind and men blaspheme the name of Yahweh. Uh, Revelation 16, 8 through 9. So the sun is going to scorch mankind. We don't know if it's the sun is somehow going to, the earth is going to rotate orbits a, a strange way, whatever, get a little closer to the earth, whatever, but the sun is going to scorch mankind and mankind is going to raise their fist to look up at Yahweh and blame him and yell at him curse him and everything else blaming him but it's man's fault for his condition what he did he has choice he has choices life or death and apparently he chose death you know a good part of mankind at least but the uh, son we don't yeah like I said we don't know if it's you know you know, a lot of people might assume it's global warming could be involved in this. It could be. I mean, I don't know. Because, like I said, the Bible usually don't go into exact uh, uh, specifics on things. But it gives you a general idea of what the conditions, what's going to happen. And Now, fifth bowl is going to be the kingdom of the beast is darkened and men continue to curse Elohim. 16 verse 10 so with this heat coming there's going to be a darkness in the sky and it's going to be over the kingdoms of this beast man and people are not going to like that they're going to be you know up there cursing looking up and waving their fists cursing up again you know blaming him and it's easier to blame others for your own you know shortcomings and that's what's going to happen that that ain't going to that ain't, that ain't what yahweh wants he doesn't want you to blame him for it. He wants he's trying to bring you to repentance. He's trying to shake you awake and say, Hey, look, you're doing wrong, but it's not too late. Come to me, repent, confess, be baptized. But they don't want that. They must be so much infatuated with this beast man and this phony false prophet that that you know they don't sit there and turn around and blame the beast man or the false prophet for their problems. Of course they don't. They got to blame somebody. They can't blame themselves or, or their, you know, earthly gods. So the only one to blame is the creator himself and the sovereign. Now, number six, the river Euphrates dries up and the kings of the earth gather at Armageddon. 16 verse 12 through 16. So when that river dries up and these armies are assembled, all these kingdoms of the world are going to 
going to sit there and assemble Armageddon, and they're going to they're going to have war. They're going to fight. They're going to fight each other. It's going to be bloody. It's going to be carnage there. It's going to be the lowest point in human history. That's plain and simple. Now the seventh and final bowl is a great earthquake. Jerusalem is divided, and the nations of the earth fall. Revelation 16, 17 through 21. So there's going to be a great earthquake. So this, I don't know if it's going to be the greatest earthquake mankind's ever experienced, but assuming, you know, saying great, it's going to be a powerful one so much, it's going to split Jerusalem in half. It's going to split them in half, and it's, and the other nations are going to fall. Uh, you know, economically, financially, um, spiritually, you know, all kinds of things, you know, it's going to fall. And, uh, it's not, it's, uh, it maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I'm not saying this in scripture. Maybe in Jerusalem, that's, that's going to be the center of trade, commerce, financials, you know, like the, you know, like the New York stock exchange of the future, you know, I don't know that. I mean, I'm just, you know, making a, throwing out some things here, but, Anyways, all nations are going to fall from it. And the earthquake's going to be so powerful, perhaps it's going to be felt around the whole planet. And um, these are, you know, it is bad news, but it's really terrible news for the unrighteous. Not so bad for the righteous, but the unrighteous, really bad. But anyways, you know, the righteous, out of all the trouble and all everything, the saints and the righteous ones are going to be at least happy at the incoming of the gospel, the return of Yeshua, and the restoration of what mankind was designed to be, how to live. They just want to live, you know, the righteous people just want to live in peace. They want to live in peace, love, you know, that's all they want to do. And anyways, that's I just wanted to share that with you. I wanted to make it short and sweet and everything, and I encourage you you know, follow up and check on the Bible. Read it up for yourself. The Revelations is not a scary book exactly. It has some it has some bad points in it, you know, like terrible plagues and things like that. But we need to know this stuff, you know, because our salvation is on the line. We need to know this stuff. And, and Revelations is not totally a complicated book to understand. You know, you just, just got to pray. Let the Spirit guide you. To this this warning this this final warning and um and that'd be you know we just got to remember the good news is coming you know yeshua the messiah king of kings he's coming and uh and later on you know the new jerusalem's going to be coming down and we just gotta not just be prepared for it it's got to be happy and we want it to come you know we beg for it to come heck the earth even probably begs for it to come but anyways, that's all I wanted to say, and, and thank you, and please like my channel, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, comment below, and share this video with anybody and everybody you can. I appreciate it very much. I thank you again. Shalom. Peace out.